Andy Poon is the uh, Chief Executive Officer of CTM, which is the leading telecom in Macau. And we're very privileged to have him with us uh, here today to share his insights. And if we could begin, if you don't mind, uh, with me asking the question, Macau, of course, has some of the most sophisticated residents, business and individuals, in terms of expecting the highest standards of digital and telecom. How do you consistently provide that, uh, that excellence? I think our major change has been that uh, since uh, 2015, uh, we start swapping out all the mobile networks into Huawei, and eventually uh, Huawei since then has become our major and core uh, network service provider and uh, we've been happy about the services Huawei provided. One thing that we have achieved you know, to, to, com to, to, to complement this success is that uh, we are able to make the network more simple and reliable. I think and that's, that's how we see it. And in addition to Huawei providing that, that very important sustainable, reliable infrastructure. Yeah. Can you share some insights in, in how Huawei collaborates uh, uh, with your company in terms of strategy? One of the major strengths or benefits that we have been able to uh, obtain is that, uh, you know, very good updates, you know, the industry's norm and development trends. What we do is that we can put together our strategy that fits both also the local perspective which also carry out the world's trend so that I think uh, you know our customers are uh, happy about it and also that uh, we also demand Huawei that uh, you know to provide us the services you know that to give us a flexible nature so that we can you know uh, provide more customized services to our customers. So you achieve that success in terms of the delivery yeah. of great service by demanding of your partners yeah. A, a, yeah. a high degree yeah. of reliability yeah. and uh, workmanship. So. Yeah. Now, we also hear the, the phrase digital Macau, mm -hmm. and that, that is going to become a, and is already a, a top priority for Macau. Yeah. Can you help us understand what are some of the challenges with that and some of the opportunities and how you're working with partners to, to achieve that? Well, I guess, you know, uh, we see ourselves as uh, a major uh, stakeholder of, you know, Macau or, you know, the, in, within the cities, you know, the, the enabler for, for our future development. I think uh, Digital Macau is our, our plan that created by CTM uh, that we see that we are working in partnership with the, with the, with the Macau territory to create, you know, the smart city environment. So, uh, as a matter of fact, you know, throughout the past few years, we have achieved what we call the Digital Macau uh, Foundation, which we build a reliable network layer and, uh, you know, uh, state of the art, uh, both, you know, in terms of transmission core, uh, integrated mobile platforms, uh, you know, uh, fiber to 100% fiber penetrations to our homes mm -hmm. and uh, that's done which you know create a very solid platform for both applications and other development of technology for uh, to enable smart city power. and as you come to uh, the mobile world congress here in barcelona uh, do you also come away then with some new ideas in terms of oh, collaborations yeah, with, your, with your partner? Huawei is our strong partner. The core is that uh, we become more confident in terms of our future, particularly in terms of 5G is much more, is, is, is more worthy and available. I mean, it's more realistic, we, we're more of a reality mm -hmm. than before I came to Barcelona. Now, now you've just led me to the question I did want to ask next because it's yeah. the question and it's a topic that everyone's talking yeah. about here at Mobile World Congress, which is 5G. Now, yeah. right before the Mobile World Congress began, uh, Huawei, with some of its uh, partners in London, 
it didn't just talk about 5G, it actually gave a demonstration of a multi-party uh, 5G uh, video call. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I wonder if you could share with us some of your insights into what's happening in Macau and what's planned to happen uh, with 5G and with your partners in that area as well. I guess there are two different uh, updates I would like to share with you. Right. I think, uh, you know, uh, with a strong partnership with Huawei, we were able, we were, we were, we have complete our 5G, you know, orientation or testing mm -hmm. uh, in uh, September of last year. That's the first stage of our 5G uh, uh, journey. Uh, well, through the testing, we were able to put through, you know, the radio uh, speed of up to 16, uh, 16 gigahertz. I mean, 60 gig gigabyte uh, per second. So, which is uh, uh, very fast, you know, faster than we expected. And then, you know, on the different, on the second update is that uh, we do have a plan for 5G that we're looking at, you know, next year that we will be commercially uh, uh, have a full-blown uh, 5G network.